older, they grab the snow shovel, they suddenly have a surge of blood pressure, surge of you know adrenaline, and their heart rate goes up, and this can lead to plaque rupture and heart attack. So we really encourage people, especially those who haven't been leading a particularly fit, healthy lifestyle, to take it easy. See if you can have someone younger shovel the snow. Mm -hmm. If you have to shovel snow, you know, bend down with your knees, do it slowly, pace yourself. It's very easy to try to go really fast and do it as quickly as possible, but you got to really slow down. Also, uh, take smaller bites of snow. Don't take as you know big. Uh, chunks and it's very cold also which can precipitate yeah. um, worsening of heart disease so you need to wear a big coat you know gloves stay really warm right okay. here on the side of caution uh, dr Hayes, can we talk about cardiovascular disease and the life cycle and why it is so important to know yeah i mean i like to say that um if everybody started treating heart disease in their 20s nobody would have heart disease later on and it's really the the golden uh, ticket is to treat your self early and I think up to 85% of heart disease would be preventable. It's really the best therapy is to have a healthy lifestyle, eat like a good Mediterranean diet. I see those hot dogs on your screen before you <laughs> my own heart, we don't know my what own heart attack on heart month. Um, yeah, so I feel like, you know, healthy lifestyle, getting out there, exercising every day, avoiding toxins like caffeine, excessive caffeine, alcohol, drugs, smoking. Um, these are all really important ways to, you know, live a healthy young life so that as you get older, you don't have to have so much trouble with your risk factors. Mm. Right. And doctor, you didn't mention that heart disease obviously can affect both men and women, but women in particular have additional risk factors. Can you break those down? Yeah, so we've learned over time that women, you know, also a, a lot of women don't know this, but heart disease is the number one cause of death for uh, women in this country, uh, COVID aside at this point. And uh, it's really important for women to know that they have in incredible risk for heart disease, even though, you know, that's not how it's been portrayed for many years in the media and by mm. their own physicians, frankly. So having a history of preterm labor uh, is one known new risk factor. Having a history of severe preeclampsia during your pregnancy, which means that you had very high blood pressure during pregnancy that was hard to control and protein in your urine and your doctor probably, you know, mentioned this to you and you were treated for it. Another possible risk factor. Also, all the rheumatologic diseases like lupus and in, in thyroid disease, scleroderma. These are all things that put women at increased risk because <clears throat> women are more likely to have autoimmune diseases. And doctor, we have about two minutes left, but I want to go through the age groups, right? Because mm -hmm. somebody who's 20 to 40 might say, well, I'm young. I probably have a healthy heart. But there are things to look out for. Yeah, things you so can you do. want to see your, yeah, definitely. In fact, that's the most important age to get stuff done. So like we said, treat your risk factors, get around moving, eating well, see your doctor at least once a year, be screened for pre hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol. And if you have a strong family history of heart disease, meaning you had a mother, father, sister, brother who had a heart attack at a relatively young age, you're at much increased risk. Mm. And then you want, if we want, we can talk about the next stage, which is 40 to 60. Mm -hmm. That's a really crucial stage, especially for women. They often are lost to their primary care doctor. They, um, they only see their GYN possibly. They are taking care of their family and their kids and working. And you know, this is a crucial time to treat high blood pressure, treat high cholesterol, treat diabetes, identify any risk factors so that you can really modify those risk factors and not face the sequela, which is cardiovascular disease that presents in 60s to 80s range. And that's, you know, coronary artery disease, valve disease, hypertensive heart disease. These are all things that really, you know, you should um, be very mindful of being at risk for. You should see a cardiologist if you have multiple risk factors and possibly even get a stress test. Everyone should have an EKG during, you know, at least every, once every five years throughout their life, starting in their 20s to, so that we have a baseline and can follow over time. And Dr. Have a quick question for you in terms of screening. How early should you be getting screened? And is it possible for um, some type of heredi hereditary predisposition to maybe present itself later in life mm. and not really show itself in those uh, those early exams? Yeah, definitely. So that's why everyone starting, you know, 18 to 20 should see their primary care doctor. And if you have a family history of significant heart disease or even a cardiomyopathy, which is a type of heart failure, you could be screened with now we have incredible genetic screening. So, you know, maybe you have a history of grandparents or an uncle who died young or had major heart problems. That patient may have been screened now with genetic testing. You can see if you have a similar genetic predisposition. And like you said, some people have different phenotypes. So you may present in your 20s, but you may present in your right. 60s. And it's important to know. All good information, Dr. Hay. Thank you for kicking off our Heart Health Month segments. You were the first. Thank you very Yay. much. Yeah, <laughs> coming up.